The bodies of the two officers were taken from the medical examiner's office in Minnetonka to a funeral home in Jordan. Yeah, you're seeing that escort from Chopper 5, and people lined the route. A day after Adam Finseth's remains uh, made it to that small Minnesota town. Richard Reeves spoke to people paying their respects tonight. He's live in Jordan right now. Rich? Yeah, Kevin, a very emotional day here in Jordan. Behind me, the funeral home where that trio of first responders is now at rest. Earlier today, dozens and dozens of people lining the sidewalks to pay their respects. This cavalcade of courage. My heart truly breaks for these families going through this right now. Arrived in Jordan, greeted with salutes, American flags, and tears. Just to show support, we, we just feel sick about this. A solemn procession, making the 30-mile journey from Minnetonka, men and women in blue, all in mourning. Can't help it, hits you. You know, it's uh, tough, tough times for everybody shouldn't be like this. You say goodbye in the morning, you should say goodnight you know, in the evening. But Burnsville police officers Paul Elmstrand and Matthew Ruge, both 27, didn't get that chance. They give their life every day, not knowing if they go on that call and it may be their last call and they may not come home to their loved ones. The hearses carrying Elmstrand and Ruge's bodies arrived here Tuesday afternoon. On Monday, the body of firefighter paramedic Adam Finseth, also killed, was escorted here by a procession. It's profound what it does to your heart. Um, we came yesterday too, and um, it's, it's just tearful to, to watch this and know how these departments are hurting. My dad was stabbed in the line of duty and almost died. Yvonne Perkins says her father worked in law enforcement in Dakota County for decades. She worries about the safety of all first responders these days. I just can't believe that our world is getting to this point. And the disrespect that they have for police officers that are trying to do their job and go out, lay their lives on the line every single day. And this is a small town. Almost everyone we spoke with today either has a family member or a friend who is a first responder. A vigil will be held for Officer Ruge tomorrow night in Wabasha. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News. Rich, thank you so much.